I tak akan jadi macam perempuan yang baju kurung you know Abang Janganlah <laughs> So I will I will get the watak jahat But lepas ni Jasmine akan sangat berhati-hati Untuk pilih watak jahat Because Hello everybody Hi uh, Welcome to my channel And untuk hari ni Jasmine Akan buat Akan uh, jawab Soalan Q&A Which I've actually just noted down I did this Q&A on Instagram And I dapat banyak soalan yang sangat menarik uh, So I'm going to answer now Soalan nombor satu Underscore Hazel By the way I'm from Sarike Sarawak. Your favorite actor and actress, please. Oh my god, so many. I like Kristen Bell. I like Tom Hanks. For actress, I like Frances McDormand, Judi Dench, Meryl Streep, Demi Moore, Helen Mirren. Oh, and I like Sonia Jin juga. Uh, I suka dia uh, Yang daripada Crash Landing on You And Suzy Bay I like her She's so cute Banyak lagi sebenarnya Miss underscore G-E-Y-E-S-S Miss Gayes How hard is it To get into the Entertainment industry To be honest It is super super hard Because The first thing You would ask yourself Katakanlah Okay I sekarang Nak start I punya social media Okay I start my Instagram now I nak jadi pelakon Okay I pergi tengoklah Pelakon yang I need uh, uh, Pengarah yang I need Razai, Razai Sham semua kan I DM Tak ada reply Okay Apa yang I nak buat Masuk sekolah acting Okay I try Okay I masuk sekolah acting But How do you get the job? How do you get the job? I make my own short films Okay Katakan kalau I tak ada duit How do I make my short film? Who will watch it? Kalau I put it on YouTube Who will watch it? It is hard It is hard And it's a question that Even now I cannot answer Because What happened to me was I tried so many things Like I said Reality shows lah Blah 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 lah Everything you know Until I get I get noticed And let's say If I were to go to America now If I were to go to To London now To try and be an actor how do I get into the industry there? I think number one is you kena ada asas lakonan. Go for acting classes. Go, you know, there's ada OJ Ahmad Daud, uh, ada Fazal Nawi. So many, you know, read acting books, watch a lot of films. Uh, if you can, write a story, do a short film. Uh, find a manager, manager kat Malaysia. Maybe you can go to some of those artists kan. And then you, you tanya, you, there's, sometimes there's a number that you can call. <laughs> You try call kata Kak, kak, I nak jadi pelakon lah Kak, please lah ambil I And even then, manager tak akan ambil you Sebab sangat susah untuk nak groom seorang bakat Yang orang tak kenal And then work on your social media But don't work on it too much until you look like an influencer Okay People do hire influencers to be actors But people start to take you seriously You try those out first And then kalau belum berhasil You let me know You ask me but get a manager and go for acting classes. Shurais, apa yang mendorong kat terima watak Jenny? Hashtag, geram sis dengan Jenny. Um, apa yang mendorong kat terima Jenny? Well, I tak pernah kerja dengan AIDA Production. And then it's for Akasia. So, <laughs> I'm just telling you the most jawapan yang paling jujur. Okay? And kalau korang nak tanya, Adakah Jasmine macam Jenny dalam reality? Sesekali tidak, man. That woman is psycho, man. Like, kalau I dia, kenapa you suka Haris yang sangat bengap? Kalau I Kaira pun, I akan tinggalkan Haris ni lah. Eh! Okay. Um, underscore Anis Yuha. Muka you sama macam Eugene lah yang berlakon dalam penthouse. Thank you. Is that how she pose? <laughs> Thank you. Izzatul1327. Apa makanan favorite akak? Saya suka makan banana leaf. Saya suka makan steamboat. Saya suka makan uh, nasi lemak yang 50 sen tu yang you know in the banana leaf. I suka makan sat laksa. Clarence Crown. Would you join politics? No, nope, I will not join politics. Even if if I join politics, um, I have a degree in political science. Um, and even if I join politics, I will not be the front line because. Saya tahu betapa susahnya seseorang ahli politik itu nak mendapatkan sokongan dan votes orang. And I tak suka main politik, you know, in the party, you know. It's not just about getting your rakyat to 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 vote for you. But it's how are you going to get rakan-rakan sepolitik you untuk nak sokong you. And I think that is that is what's happening in in Malaysia, you know. And I don't like to play that politics. I don't like to be like Oh, we gotta do this, but you gotta you cannot do this uh, now because it's not the right time. Or 
you cannot do this because what would what would that guy think you know uh, and you need that guy because he has that amount of support uh, uh, in, in in his whatever constituency or whatever you know I don't like to play that sort of political game within the party itself it's a very noble job but yeah too much politicking inside so I will probably join in as a strategist maybe ataupun I can kerja dalam embassy um, dan kalau I bukan seorang pelakon actually I takkan jadi ahli politik I can jadi I'll probably work as an economist wow. you know in a research centre uh, yeah. Lensa Shamil what is Jasmine punya ultimate goal in life macam kalau achieve tu yang lain bila elect dulu pun tak apa my ultimate goal in life is to melebarkan sayap saya ke pasaran antarabangsa to be an international actress to be like Tan Sri Michelle Yeoh I love her so much and to me she's the ultimate goal for a Malaysian lah basically having a family not so important to me right now having a husband tak sebegitu penting having kids not so important I still can have cats and dogs <coughs> tapi the acting thing lah the actors award which is very depressing you know because sometimes when i see myself act and bila i tengok macam beberapa scene yang i rasa macam hmm tak sampai i tak bagus honestly i get depressed and pernah sekali i cried in the bathroom after i cannot get into character and i tell myself that i'll never i never want to be an actress and that's why i actually went into football hosting sebab i think it's a very depressing career when you cannot get it right and you think you're not good enough which I feel like I'm not good enough I feel like I suck but yeah, being a best actress would be ultimate goal Far underscore East 0512 Kenapa ya kalau drama Melayu asyik dapat watak jahat? Teguri hati ni Yeah, I rasa sebab I have this very urban look yang nampak agak jahat that's why they take me in and sebab I ada pelat kot mungkin that's why I tak akan jadi lead I tak akan jadi macam perempuan yang baju kurung you know abang janganlah <laughs> so I will I will get the watak jahat but lepas ni Jasmine akan sangat berhati-hati untuk pilih watak jahat because I need to find a more interesting antagonist role but you know in actual fact actually antagonist role tu adalah sesuatu watak yang sangat menarik you know you dapat main banyak Main banyak, that sounds wrong but yeah <laughs> NRX underscore Shahira When did you start being an actress and how? Actually, I started theatre when I was very young and I love performing and to be honest right why I want to be an actress is because I have this um, obsession, you know, infatuation with, you know, stars in the 60s macam glamour-glamour semua I mean, I'm going to be very upfront and honest, you know I love acting, but part of why I want to be an actress is is the whole recognition, you know, um, walking the red carpet. I mean, really, like, I just have to be very honest. Masa tu, masa I started out was 2013, 2012, 2013. Masa tu, I tried so many things, you know. I akan join Facebook casting. I akan pergi tengok film ke drama-drama, especially those TV3 punya drama, Akasia ke apa, kan. And then I will wait to the ending credits. I can tengok pelakon agensi tambahan. And I can pergi Google. I started out by joining three reality shows. So I joined Project 3R. Hi, nama saya Jasmine Suraya Chin. I joined the job. I like my group this time. But I actually think this this task this time was sort of easy. And I joined Pentin Star Search. Saya seorang gadis yang pemalu dari Sarawak. Pentin Star Search adalah the only reality show that I've won. And if you ask me, um, did those reality shows help you? No. It didn't help me at all. I didn't get much exposure. I didn't get many opportunities. But I kept trying. And then, sampai lah, you know, I masuk uh, mengacara bola, sepak. And I think that's what got me noticed. And uh, ramai yang juga tanya I dekat, dekat, you know, Instagram. Adakah I rindu masa zaman-zaman I menjadi pengacara bola, sepak. You're watching Cradle TV with me, your host, Jasmine Suraya Chin. No, I don't actually. I did it only because it was the only job offered to me at the time. Yeah, this is very being me, being super honest. And then I joined a film festival just to get to know, you know, filmmakers. And then I kept harassing them afterward. Would you consider me as an actress? Blah blah blah. I sent my profile. None of them really responded. And then I entered Aswara. Sebab I ingat. Okay, I nak belajar berlakon, you know, I nak kenal lebih banyak orang. Maybe the only way for me to get noticed is to do more independent short films. 
I did so many things, you know. I even crashed a wedding. Sebab I tahu Datuk Yusuf Hassan will be there. Um, so many things. But football was what got me noticed. After that, I did Heroes Orang Cinderella. And the funny thing how I did Heroes Orang Cinderella was because Mawa Rashid at the time sepatutnya berlakon uh, dalam cerita tu. Dia orang dah shoot dah beberapa scene dah, you know. Dia adalah sepatutnya Zuin, the original Zuin. But at that time, I was looking for a new manager. And Mawar Rashid dropped out because dia dapat tahu yang dia kena shoot dekat uh, perhentian and dia ada jadual clash so dia, dia tak dapat nak pergi and at that time the manager that I was having coffee with uh, rapat dengan Michael Ang and introduced me to Michael Ang and I sent my videotape and Astro was you know we're so desperate kita tak kisahlah kalau dia tu uh, tak biasa berlakon so we just take her in. we just take her in so yeah you know um, starting from there and even till today I find it hard to get good roles in Malaysia so yeah okay that is how I started becoming an actress and Alhamdulillah I am an actress now um, I hope people still look at me as an actress Shuar underscore Lim Kosong Tiga Ni shi hua ren ma? Shi wo shi hua ren na 180 hua ren Ke shi hen duo ren yu wei wo shi ma lai ren hai shi mixed da Ke shi wo shi hua ren that's me speaking Chinese. Isha Hatta. When you are on the verge of giving up, what do you do? I find kenapa I not give up. I, I dig for reasons why I want to give up. Is it because it's too hard? Or is it because I don't enjoy it? Is it because it's wasting too many? I, I don't know. It depends. Are you giving up on a business? Or are you giving up on a career which you think you're not good enough? But does it make you happy? I think you need to ask yourself those questions first. If you're giving up on a business, Okay, is it because you cannot find investor? Is it because the risk, the the business, has too many competitor, and then you cannot find yourself competing? You have to answer those questions. Why? 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 First, because I think giving up is a very serious thing. Banyak kali I not give up, but then I keep thinking back. If I give up to start over again, it's very hard. And I tengok ramai artis yang putus asa, ramai kawan daripada, ramai daripada kawan Jasmine yang putus asa nak masuk industri. But in the end of the day, three years later, they always come back and then they struggle at starting back. So before you give up, you have to be very firm and you know, it's, it's very hard to start back. So ask yourself why and how to fix it or how to find that balance kalau you nak give up. Finding that balance. My question, my Q&A. I hope korang puas hati. I'll answer more questions on my Instagram. Tapi I, I harap korang puas hati. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. And yeah, ask me more questions. Bye!